This is a tutorial on adding smoke to an After Effects scene and uh, creating a mask to adjust the edges of the smoke and blurring it and then animating that mask. Uh, the first thing I did was I found a good uh, YouTube video of smoke and I downloaded that video using a Firefox plugin. Um, just uh, find and install um, Firefox YouTube download plugin and install it. After you've download after you've uh, installed the plugin, you'll find this download button right here. And I always like to get the biggest one when I download it. So I've already done that and I also got a background image. So I'm gonna bring those two things in import and I'll take these uh, wooden planks I've gotten and just drag it to the uh, create sequence button here and I'll make a sequence the exact size of that image. Um, I found this image to be a little bit too bright and contrasty so I'm going to select this layer effects color correction brightness and contrast and lower the brightness and lower the contrast a little bit. Go back to the project then I'm going to bring in my smoke and make sure I put it on top of the planks uh, to get the smoke to uh, get rid of the black what we're going to do is um, if you click toggle switches and modes you'll see it switches between this view where you have all these to choose from and the modes right here so we're going to choose a different mode and we'll choose add and what add basically means is whatever the value of the pixel on top it'll add it to one on bottom so white is a value of one black is a value of zero so anything that's black it'll just take the current value of a pixel the color of the wood and add zero to it which means nothing and then you'll just end up with the wood and then the white which is near one it'll just end up pretty close to white or it'll just add it that much white to the background so you'll see that gets us pretty close to having the smoke comped over there but I'm using my scroll wheel to zoom in here a little bit maybe not so much and hold on the space bar to where I can see the edge you can see the edge here pretty clearly so that means that black isn't quite a hundred percent black it's close but it's not all the way there so to adjust that I'm going to again select that layer effects color correction levels and uh, I'm just going to drag this middle guy until that disappears but not more you know just enough to where that disappears let's go back here I'll say fit so we see the whole image and if I hit zero on the numeric keypad it'll preview that and go and play it back so at this point you can move in position uh, and scale the um, this view if you wanted to move it around or you know change the size or of course rotate it I can click here hit R for rotate and uh, adjust that you know if I need it to go up whatever but in this case I'm just gonna leave it um, so the next step is you know this is looking okay except for that um, you see this sharp line here because that's the end of the image and then as time goes on you see how this um, hits the side of the image and the top and that that doesn't look good so we want to create a mask to prevent that so I'm going to go to a frame where I can see that pretty clearly where that edge is and also kind of remember okay, where this one is here so um, to fix that, uh, I'm going to create a mask. So again, make sure this layer is selected, hit the pen tool, and I'm going to click and drag here to create this little tangent line. And what I'll do is, you know, I'll try to get most of the smoke in there, but and I notice I'm leaving a little extra room here. And uh, but I'll do something that's a little bit more, you know, sort of an amorphous smoke-like shape so I wouldn't want something that's too obviously a geometric shape but again that's too sharp so now I'm going to spin this open here spin open masks and that first mask 
and feather, if we increase, click and drag on the number of pixels, see how it's fading the edge there now of the mask? Make a nice big feather. And to see what that looks like, I'll just click off to the side here a couple times and it'll hide that purple line. Zero on the, numer on the numeric keypad will um, allow you to play it back. And then you can see that, uh, you know, it, it fades as it gets to the edge and we're getting away with it there pretty well. You could maybe adjust the shape a little bit more, but for the most part, that's pretty believable. If you wanted to take it further or if you needed to do more with that, you can actually animate the mask shape, so um, which we'll see here. So I'll do something kind of obvious just to to make it show well. So I'm going to. You have to first click the stopwatch to say yes, I'm keyframing the shape, and then from that point forward, any changes you make to these dots will uh, set new keyframes and be animated. So. I'm going to make sure I select, see if I click there, it's going to pick the whole thing. So let's just, uh, so that's going to be the trick is to sort of marquee select the one you want to move. And do you see how it set another keyframe there? And you see how that, that pink line, that edge of the mask changes over time? So you can animate the shape of the mask. Let's do that again. I, um, if I want to add another keyframe in, uh, I can just click here and it'll keyframe wherever it's currently at and then maybe I want to change you know this one over time so see how that changes the shape and so you could animate all of these and give give that like edge a smoke like movement as well um, this is just a simple example but um, hit zero for the preview. And uh, let's go back to the beginning here because that's a little too sharp on that edge. Maybe change this tangent a bit. Okay, that looks a little better. All right, zero again for preview. Yeah, that looks a little softer there. That's better. Okay, and then one more trick I'll show you by uh, before I finish. If you know, if you feel like the smoke isn't sort of dense and bright enough, but maybe you want it more obvious, you can certainly go and play with levels and those kinds of things. Um, but uh, another trick is just to take this whole layer and hit Control D for duplicate, and it just doubles it up, and uh, that gives you a really intense, obvious-looking smoke. And then, um, but then you say, well, maybe that's too much. So then I can hit T for opacity and just tone that down a little bit, you know. So now I'm more than just the one, which looks like that, but, you know, it's just somewhere in between. And you can tune it in to get the density that you like. You can also do things if you want to add lots of smoke to the scene, you can start layering different smokes on top of each other uh, to get more complex things going on and each can have their own masks, etc.